Epiphytes are a fascinating group of plants that includes bromeliads, bird's nest ferns, mosses, lichen, stag and elkhorns. This is a great example of an elkhorn fern, big and bulbous, with lots of fronds coming forward from individual eyes. Now, that's what separates the elk from the staghorn. The stag has the big shield leaves with just a few fronds. The elkhorn, masses of fronds. Both of them are just rippers of plants. This elkhorn has fallen off the tree, and you may think it's not worth saving, but that's not the case. This section of the clump, unfortunately, has all died off. It's rotten, but there's nothing wrong with this part here, full of life, and that's the part I'm going to save. I'm going to saw through here, disregard the bad stuff, and mount the good stuff. Now, I'm just using an old garden saw, and I'm going to slice above the living section about here. And the plant itself is pretty soft. What I'm slicing into here are all the old roots, some of the organic matter. Now, this is why you need to use an old saw, because going into all that root and fibrous stuff will blunt the teeth. But an old saw is good for a job like this. Now, I'm just going to finish her off here. Look at that. That's fantastic stuff. That's nature in action. In nature, your elk horn would grow from a very small spore on a branch or trunk of a tree and gradually get bigger. But the way I prefer to do it, and I think the way you should do it, is to attach it onto a backing board, like this beautiful piece of old hardwood here. That way, you protect the tree and you have the option to hang it on a wall as well. Well, I bet you thought I was going to mount the elk horn onto this smaller piece here. But you know what? I think you'll agree that just looks a bit better. See you later! The next stage is to attach the elk horn onto the hardwood. And it's got to be nice and strong. So I'm going to drill through two holes, one each side, and then secure it with the galvanised wire. Well, there you go. That's a resurrected elk horn and a piece of garden art. Now, these guys and the stags like a fairly protected position and reliable moisture, but not too much in winter. And the other thing they like is a banana skin just chucked up in the top there because ferns love potassium. And as that slowly breaks down, it'll feed the fern.